Welcome back, everybody. 916 is the time. Today wraps up Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month, and we're happy to have Vicki Wilson in with us today sharing her amazing story and some exercises also for those out there fighting MS that can help ease some of the symptoms. And Vicki, first, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your story. Well, I appreciate you guys having me. This is, I'm just wanting to get the word out. Well, talk about your story a little bit with us. I, I read your blog earlier. By the way, kickinms.com is where you can find videos, information. I know you update it uh, regularly. Uh, tell me more about how it all started for you. I was diagnosed with primary progressive multiple sclerosis in May of 2012 and I'm Mayo Clinic in Florida, okay. and there is no treatment or cure for uh, PPMS. Okay. So, you know, I was devastated. So yeah. I decided I needed to quit my job and focus on finding a, something to help me and improve my quality of life. So after a lot of research, I discovered that the hemiotopedic stem cell transplant can actually stop the progression of your multiple sclerosis. And so uh, I applied in the United States. It's in clinical trials at Northwestern University in Chicago, uh, but they wouldn't accept me because I have PPMS. So I applied overseas and I was accepted in Moscow, Russia. Wow. And I was there August the, through so the end of September and had my transplant. I was in the hospital for five and a half weeks, four days of high doses of chemo to reboot your, stem, your uh, immune system and then a stem cell transplant using my own stem cells to help recover from the uh, chemo. So it's my chemo what a process. Pearl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me more about that decision to go overseas and go to Russia. Was it one that was difficult to make or were you just ready to, to find anything possible out there? Well, when I knew it was real, because yeah. there are a lot of fake things out there, when I knew it was real and I'd read the science behind it, uh, it was the only thing that was going to save my life. But with PPMS, uh, it's a slow decline. There are no relapses. You're slowly being paralyzed. And that wasn't acceptable to me. Yeah. So when I found this was real, um, I'm actually the only, the 10th non-Russian to be treated in their hospital. That's amazing. Let's, we got some video to show you here before and after the stem cell treatment. Okay, tell me about this video right here. Uh, this was actually August 19th, the day I was being uh, admitted into the hospital. This okay. is the hotel okay. lobby. Uh, my mother was videotaping me. I usually uh, would use a trekking pole, but I was doing pretty good that morning, um, trying not to fall. Uh, but I have spasticity and I have hyperextending uh, reflexes, so okay. walking's a little wobbly. Okay, now we have some after video to show you to show the effects after, and this is this is after exercises and, and recovery. Tell me more about this. When was this taken? Uh, this was uh, just a few weeks ago. One uh, really cold morning in front of my house, <laughs> I woke up and I had my chemo pain was gone, and I felt great. And I told my husband, I said, "Take a picture of me walking." So that's what we did, and it just it makes me just so happy to see you know that I, I'm able to do that again. That is amazing. Yeah. And I know you actively work out. You go to the gym and talk. About some of the exercises that you like to do and if you don't mind showing a couple off for us today for for those at home who may be you know battling this disease yeah some things to help them as they go through the symptoms yeah we always consult with your physician before you start any exercise Certainly. program but um, with MS, it's really important to, to keep strength training, keep walking, keep biking, anything you can do. Uh, most people with MS are heat intolerant, so you'd have to watch out about that. A lot of water aerobics is good for them. Okay. I was actually cold intolerant, so the cold, that's why I wanted my video to be outside, because my cold intolerance has gone away. Really? Yeah. And you went to Moscow, Russia. I know. I mean, that, that, it's just crazy. That is, yeah, yeah. But, it, but it, I mean, the, the it, results speak for themselves. Yeah, yeah. I have just had my six-month follow-up with the neurologist here at UAMS, and he he was uh, and he was astounded he couldn't believe it and uh, I showed him my videos and he's just he's like come back in six months and let's celebrate more of your accomplishments. that is so wonderful yeah so okay I uh, anyway so some of the things that you should do is you know make sure you do some curls some bicep things stretch really well before um, I like to do some boxing things to mix it up mm -hmm. um, and then also, it's really important to stretch. With MS, your muscles tighten up with spasticity. Okay. And so it, it feels like you're always having a Charlie horse. Ooh. So it's real important to, to stretch and keep that limber. And I do, I stretch three or four times a day just to keep my, my legs limber and loose. Um, I also bike because walking is a little challenging for distance, so uh -huh. I can ride my bike further than I can walk. And still moving those legs constantly like that. And you can take a break, too, on yeah. a bike, too, which, which obviously helps a little bit. Exactly. Tell me more about your blog, though. Uh, yeah, so my blog is KickinMS, K-I-C-K-I-N-M-S.com. <laughs> and um, I started it just to kind of 
tell my story along the way and to remind me of everything that was going on while I was in Russia. So it starts before I left and then I follow every day while I'm in the hospital I would blog and uh, the time difference was if I had it out by noon that was about y'all's six o'clock in the morning so people wow. were starting to yeah. wake up and get on the blog and watch it. And so now I update it every month just to show my progress and the, with the video, the walking videos and I'll have an update coming up tomorrow because my I just, that's six months back from Moscow now so uh, unbelievable, it's unbelievable. Isn't it? yeah. Yeah. It's, time just flies but before I left, I was walking a quarter of a mile, barely. Mm -hmm. Now I can walk a mile and a quarter regularly. A whole mile I more know. than what you were able to do. Yeah. And continued success, of course. Thank you so much for coming in today. And once again, kickinms.com, an inspiration to all of us. Thank uh, you so thank much. Thank you. I appreciate Vicky. you having me. All right, coming up next, we're going to talk.